What's cracking guys? Omar Isaf here, back with another video. In this video today, we're talking all about aesthetics, what aesthetics really means and how, I think it depends on the individual. I think training one style for everyone doesn't really make a whole lot of sense and how in reality, when we talk about that classic V taper, when people will commonly refer to that as being very symmetrical, proportional, very aesthetic, how you actually have to train it disproportionately certain muscles in order to get that physique. What do I mean? Well, I mean this exactly. If you look at the work of Dr. Mike Isratel, when he talks about the side deltoid, uh, the amount of volume frequency you need to do in order to grow that muscle, it's different. Every single muscle responds differently to training. This means that your quads, compared to your hamstrings, compared to your glutes, compared to your chest, to your back, everything, when you compare each muscle group, they all need to be trained a little bit differently. So if you just do three sets of 10 for everything, you're not going to get a proportional result. Some areas will grow faster than others. And so what does that mean? Well, it means that the physiques that we commonly like to associate with proportion and symmetry, in reality, you actually don't train in a symmetrical basis. You have to disproportionately emphasize certain areas. If you want to get that V taper, the big three areas I would say would be your upper chest, your side deltoid, or just your delts in general, and then your lats. Once again, to have that more narrow waist, a wider back, and then broader shoulders, accentuating that V taper. If we take a look at some of the statues, the Greek statues of times past, their physiques are totally different than maybe some of the physiques that we might find aesthetic. And that's because, once again, who knows what access to equipment they had, what training utensils they had back in the day. They trained completely differently. Their legs were probably a little bit bigger than what a lot of guys would find aesthetic when we talk about that V taper. They were, I would say, honestly, more proportional because they're probably just lifting boulders, doing whatever. And so they looked a little different. If we look at Eugene Sandow, once again, because the upper chest, there wasn't as many implements, as many devices, right? the incline bench, I don't think they had the incline bench or the barbell, just different ways to hit up that muscle group, it wasn't emphasized as much. And so I think what training equipment you have, what your goal is, highly influences how you look. And once again, if we talk about the work of Dr. Mike Isertel, maybe this would be something cool. If you guys want to see him on this channel talking about different muscle groups and how they respond, in fact, differently to training, like this damn video and leave a comment below. But the classic notion of what we find aesthetic when we talk about that, so a V taper, so once again, big lats, small waist, uh, big deltoids, big upper chest, that comes from training those areas more than others. Again, your side deltoid does need to be trained larger and more frequently. So I think Dr. Mike Isretal, I forget how many sets, I think it's something like 20 working sets. He recommends 15 to 20 working sets throughout the week. That's very high volume, especially when you compare it to the volume maybe of uh, chest, of your back, of your legs, all those different areas. Same idea once again, I talk about that upper chest and people talk about my ass chest. That is because naturally I did gravitate more towards just benching in general. I did get good results from benching, but I always included some form of incline work. A lot of people don't. Again, if you're training for specificity, if you're a powerlifter, we can compare a powerlifter's physique. And we've seen now so many IPF boys do their training and uh, get the results that they get. We take a look at their physiques. It looks a little different than maybe a bodybuilder would that's in the exact same uh, weight class. Same idea if we take a look at a weightlifter. Weightlifter is a very lower body dominant. They have some traps, but their chest isn't nearly as developed, obviously, or their arms. And that is because it's specific to their sport. So I think uh, aesthetics, first off, are a little nebulous. It depends upon the era we're talking about. It depends upon the individual. But the classic sense of what we'd accept today in modern bodybuilding of the V taper is achieved not through uh, symmetrical training, but actually disproportionately emphasizing certain areas more than others. And that's something a lot of people don't realize. So training your back a little bit more, training your lats, so doing a lot of pull-ups, a lot of rows, a lot of variations like that to get wider, thicker lats. Same idea when it comes to your deltoids. And then lastly, once again, obviously for your upper chest, doing a whole lot of upper chest work would be crucial for getting that physique. And I think that's kind of interesting, once again, how people get it a little bit twisted where they think, oh, you know what? It's aesthetic, it's proportional, it's symmetrical. Therefore, I just train everything the same. No, you have to be methodical with your approach. I think there's a variety of different goals. You just got to know which one's for you. In fact, in the comment section below, what is your overall goal? What is maybe the physique you want to get? 
post in the comment section below if we talk about that V taper there's ways to get it there's ways to overemphasize in order for you to get that physique it's a little bit different if you want to see Dr. Mike Isretel talk about certain muscle groups how to train them differently make sure to like the damn video that's all I really want to say if you want to get that symmetrical proportionate physique you might have to train disproportionately in order to get it some people don't realize that that is all the time we have in this video thank you so much for watching the video if you liked the video else how many likes are we going for? Disproportionately high amount. Uh, I would say about 69,000. That's, that's way too disproportional. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next one. Peace. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your fucking vegetables. guys, my rascals, in that next video.